Last week, Avery asked if you're in favor of a hotel motel tax for visitors to help fund a new event center. 65% of you said no. Now remember, this is not a tax on people who live in Lubbock. It would only be for people who stay in a hotel. As always, we thank you for sharing. Well, the president made the decision a couple of weeks ago to end the family separation policy for illegal immigrants at the border, but there are still a lot of unaccompanied minors who are crossing or are already in the country. Word this week that land on two Texas military bases will likely be used to house immigrant teenagers. Fort Bliss near El Paso and Goodfellow Air Force Base in San Angelo could house up to 32,000 teens. Here at home, a rally since we last spoke. Democrats here and across the country held what they called a National Day of Action, where rallies were held to protest immigration policies, and that included the gathering here at the Tim Cole statue in Lubbock. The president tweeting this week demanding that Congress change immigration laws in this country. A lot of the visuals are still on the families involved, and rightly so, but let's not forget the real work being done to keep bad guys out of the country. The Air and Marine Operation Arm of the U.S. Customs and Border Protection, for example, deals with drug trafficking and human smuggling and a lot more. Our course, Nylander, has a rare look at their work from El Paso. Engines up. You guys ready? Yeah. Skies clear. We take off towards the U.S. Mexico border. Daily and nightly, we're called upon. Todd Gale is a supervising agent with U.S. Customs and Border Protection's Air and Marine Operations. We're joining him on a routine patrol of the border, a mission getting busier by the day. We've had an increase uh, in the amount of alien traffic coming across our borders. The El Paso branch of the Air Marine Unit covers almost 800 miles of the U.S.-Mexico border. That's more than any other Border Patrol sector, and that's a lot of ground to cover. From the air, Gale looks upon a sea of sand, going mile by mile through the desert, often in a game of cat and mouse. I'm always looking. Looking for footprints or suspicious activity. Now, there's a vehicle over there. There's two guys walking away towards the vehicle. During our fly along, just a few false alarms. No surprise, really? says Gale. Most activity, he says, takes place after dark. The smart ones, I think, know better. And that's where this helicopter's toys kick in. The copter equipped with high tech surveillance, giving agents like Gale the ability to stay out of sight while still keeping a close eye on the border. And to make sure that we get the evidence that we need to prosecute the guys that are doing the bad things. Last year, their operations led to the apprehension of more than 37,000 undocumented immigrants. The seizure of almost 270,000 pounds of cocaine and more than 384,000 pounds of marijuana. Two, three, four, kick ice out the door! As protests emerge across the country due to family separations at the border, Gail says many people don't realize it's often his team keeping migrant families alive, caught in harsh conditions. They're not told the truth by the people that are smuggling them. Consequently, they don't bring enough water, they don't bring enough supplies, and they find themselves in dire straits in the middle of the desert when it's 100, 110 degrees out without enough supplies. So we're called upon often to go out there to find these people and to rescue them. And they are there to save you, frequently assisting other local law enforcement during various situations, such as mountain rescues. And El Paso agents sent across the country to assist with the aftermath of Hurricane Harvey and Maria just last summer. Uh, we can get a bird's eye view again of what, what damage took place on the ground, where people are in distress, um, potential hazards like uh, gas lines broken, power lines down. With an encyclopedia full of possible missions, our fly along comes to an end. No bad guys caught this trip, but just like every flight, Gail leaves satisfied. Every day I come home, I have the sense of accomplishment that I've done something immediate and uh, important, uh, either protecting my community or the nation at, at large. Love it, Chorus Nylander in El Paso. Stick around, we're coming back with the final word.